Future Phil here. I know what you're thinking, what's going on here? Well, this day is so long, I've decided to put it in two parts. So part one will be um, us going for breakfast, going to see where to pick up our annual passes and going to the premium outlets. Part two will be actually Disney Springs. So whatever order you're watching this, it will say at the beginning, it will come up with me talking. It'll say day one, part one I should say, or part two and you'll know you've missed a part of it. So, get across. Sorry about this, but it was gonna be an hour long and I know most people don't really wanna watch hour long videos. So, check them out. Good morning, epic people. It's another daily vlog. Andrew is hiding. Melvin is there, they don't want me on camera. Andrew gets too shy. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Good morning. And basically, it's more of an easy day today. We're off to Golden Corral now to show Melvin Golden Corral and show him what a real buffet he is like. I know many people out there don't like it. They reckon it's cheap, but I think it's great and I get to eat what I like. If I wanted fine dining, I would go to New York anyway. And after that, we're going to have to see well, We're just going to pick up our annual passes. We're not actually going to be going to SeaWorld. And then eventually we're off to the premium outlets. After that, I couldn't give a damn what we're doing. It's going to be a pretty lazy day today. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Epic Phil on YouTube. Like this video and comment down below. People, we're walking around the back of Surfside, so I thought I'd give you some Surfside love. So let's flick this camera around so you can have a look at Surfside. If the camera ever decides to flick, I'm taking There we go. Surfside love. People wondering how far both hotels are from each other. I'm really telling you, it's not that far at all. So I walk around the back, I'm not happy what's happened with my lovely lake. As you can see, there's all green moss on it now. They're not looking after it, clearly. What's a shame, but maybe that's what they want it to look like. I don't know, I don't think it looks that nice, but each to the right. Here is the beautiful surfside, two small towers. You'll get a bit of noise of a leaf blower in a minute because someone's cleaning the poolside area. Obviously with surfside, the option you get is you get a lake view from the pool area. Also, this walk we're doing is from dockside as well. It's around the back of surfside. It's a shorter way to get to international world. Across the pond, as you see it, there is a Ramada. I've also stayed there. If you look at the top of the tower on the right, if you get a club level suite, you can go on the roof. The roof actually does have a bar, a mini pool and a jacuzzi and loads of sun lounges. It's quite fun up there. Did it before Aventura, so Aventura is a copycat. Get ready for Mr. Leaf Blower. about the noise but they like to keep the hotels nice and clean now I've been told if you're staying at Dockside you can actually use the Surfside port and vice versa you can't use any other universal properties and the same no one from the other universal properties can use Dockside or Surfside there's Sandbar Yeah, again, you can see the barcodes on the chairs so you can order your drinks. A bit different than dockside, the smoking areas. People seem to smoke inside the pool area. I actually prefer this at Surfside. I'm not a smoker, but I, I get the idea for it. There's my old famous tower that I actually stayed in. Across the water, there's the Westgate Palace. I've never stayed there. Never appealed to me, if truth be told. I think it's overpriced. Ugh. I didn't get one of their water boats onto that water. Because they have their little paddle boats in the other water. No thanks. There's the most renowned hotel. What is like Marmite to people. You either love it or hate it. The Enclave Suites. Um, some people love it. 
a lot of people hate it, it ugh, depends what you want really in a hotel but it's there it is the two towers there right in the middle yeah again people if you're staying at Surfside especially this tower too there's a door just here just walk through that door and we're going to show you the car park route what does make it a lot quicker stayed up get up I stayed up there top floor room in a family suite 20 I think that is the car park there and you can see the aircon units those are spare chairs as you can see we are now walking out the car park area and we're walking on to international drive so especially for surfside people you walk out of tower two this way you can either go through the car park if you're down the far end or you can do the route we've just done and it cuts off a lot of the walk is the car park too there's the other option apparently there's a thing called a disabled entrance I'm not sh entirely sure what that's about and obviously the exit's here so say you, walk, you can come out through the car park and come down that MC there is a door in the car park as well for people who don't want to walk on this road bit and um, any second now you'll see international drive Obviously we're down the far end, we're not near the Orlando eye. As the eye right trolley just went past. There we are. And there you go, International Drive. And obviously right next to Surfside you've got a, a waffle house. Seems quite popular, always seems to be people in there, what's really good for them. It took them ages to build it, I thought Disney were building it at first. Across the road, you've got Baha Indian cuisine, a couple of shops. As you can see, there's the Avanti Palms Resort and the road sitting closest to Universal. You have Subway and everything here as well. As the trees get in my way, everything for two ninety nine. It's probably not real. Um, one of my favourite places, Twisty Treats. You'll, you'll get some absolutely fantastic ice creams from here. I have a quick show you the menu. Just to give you an idea, they do soft serve, scooped ice cream, shakes, malts, sundaes, toppings, twisters, slushies, floats and slushy floats. You've got different cut ones like the Dirty Cup, Champion Sherman, and on and on and on, as you see, many choices in there. It's a great place. You can also cherry dip your ice cream, butterscotch dip or chocolate dip them as well for 85 cents. But as you can see, it's still dead on I drive. It's not up to what you used to. But I will record. I will record more I drive on another video for you. I'm not going to show it all now. Just a little bit here because we are now walking down to Golden Corral. All right, people. There is McDonald's on I drive. You probably know where that is. We've crossed the road. There is checkers, I tell you what, they use nice fries and checkers. Oh, um, that's a drive through as well. Now they're hiring people, if anybody wants a job, $15 per hour. God knows what that is with tax, but here we go. So, Golden Corral, easiest way to get to it from here. Sorry about the noise, we're right next to our main road, obviously, as you can see. It's still moving, most people are going to work. So, see the garage? I personally just um, cut across it. One thing I do love about air carriages is it's proper Circle K garage apparently. All the bagels and that, a bit like the British do now. 
Something about Pokemon Go in there, I really don't care. But I say, yeah, you just cut across here. And in the next few seconds, you should see, is it a sign for it over here? So, yep, I can see it now. There is a Golden Corral. So you just go here. And apparently, if anybody who ever knows every year, it looks like they open for Christmas Day. If I was out here on my own, I'd be happy with just a golden corral. I feel sorry for the staff working that day, but I don't really care about the Christmas dinners. It'd be nice and easy. So, unfortunately, this video won't be out before Christmas Day. So maybe for next year, if anyone's thinking about it, and they can't find anywhere to eat, your place is like Golden Corral, who will be open. I mean, it's 2021 20, right now, December. So I, I, I would fancy 2022 it being open. But I'm going to go indoors. Um, unfortunately, I don't think you're allowed to record in a Golden Corral, people. So I can't show you all the buffet because we're here for breakfast. Change of plans. We're going somewhere else. We got there at 20 past nine where most breakfast places I thought would be open, but not Golden Corral. It's, it's 10 a.m. So the people go to theme parks and that don't really go to Golden Corral right now. Could it be after COVID? I do not know. So we're going to try and find somewhere else. We can't find somewhere. We're just going to go up like, IHOP down this end instead. And to me, looking at everything, it is going to be I hope again because there's nothing really nearby. So, what's the chamber? I'm not standing there 40 minutes waiting for breakfast because I'm actually hungry. Wait. Yep, it's like it's going to be an I hop job. What's quite annoying because obviously the traffic lights here take forever. And now we're walking all the way back to I hop that we walk past. Oh well, can't win them all. Yep, we've um decided to go to IHOP after all. This is a different one further down from Docks. I actually prefer this one. It even looks fresher, it's a newer building. I used to eat this one quite a lot actually. So, be interesting now to see who does the better, better breakfast. So IHOP, here we are. As you say, if you're trying to figure out where it is, there's McDonald's, Denny's, and the Rosen Inn International. So yep, we're gonna go and eat at IHOP again. We will do Golden Crow on this holiday. Just not right now. What's a shame, but we will get back in there. Right, so we have come into IHOP for breakfast instead this time again. Um, it's some kind of early siege. I, as I, said, I prefer this IHOP near Rosen International. I'm actually going for the sirloin tip and eggs. Not too sure what it is, but I don't want the breakfast sample again because I've already had that. I usually I have the chocolate chocolate tip pancakes, but I'm going to change it to the cupcake ones this time. Because what comes with the sirloin tip eggs is salted with onions, mushrooms, served with two eggs, hash browns, and two buttermilk pancakes. But I know you can change them up, so I'm going to change it to the cupcake one. So Andrew's having the sirloin tips as well, but he's having chocolate chocolate pancakes. Um, not sure what Melvin's having yet. Okay. Apparently Melvin's just having an omelette, I don't know which type of one he's going for, but he's having an omelette. He might just go for the standard normal omelette. But that's what we're having, I'd say I hope it's a lot easier. Um, we've gone for the Pepsi again because it's free refills. Um, I did put as well, as you can see, it's a, well, you probably can't see it, but I can. It's a lot more busy than the one near the dockside in as well. It's a lot more spaced out, it's a lot more fresh looking. I won't say clean up, but it's, it, it's, it's, it's more of a modern look to it. So. I would prefer to come to this one anyway, so we're going to order this. You'll see some photos and that, and then I'll tell you afterwards what I think, if it's better than the other one. I personally think it's better down there. It'd be interesting to see what the other two say. Right, so we've got the sirloin stick um, tips, and I'm telling you now, I'm not even eating it. And this looks better than the samples, so I'm very happy. There's pancakes hanging here, yeah. But you've seen the pictures of the steaks and that, they look fantastic. The omelette looks really good as well. I'm very impressed. Uh, proper plateful will fill me up. Just finished eating my one. Melvin's finished his omelette. My brother finished his in five seconds. Flat everything. I didn't finish all the pancake on the cupcake version. It um, gets a little sweet towards him because they put frosting icing in there as well. Plus the cream on the top and the sprinkles. Um, I lift left quarter of it but the sterling steak stuff beautiful probably the best breakfast i've had this holiday so far um, this as i said before this ihop is 
miles better than the one near Universal's in the summer surfside and I said, sorry guys down there, you just hold it, this one feels fresher and new. So I, if I was people, personally I'd make a walk, I'm going to rate this compared to the other aisle. I would come here all the time, the food was nice. Um, so there we go, and as I'm talking I see a Orange County Fire Rescue going behind the back um, of Manalo's Bar and Restaurant. Maybe they're coming to get some food as well. So once we've got this done, we're going to get on the iRide trolley, get down to SeaWorld and go and pick up our annual passes, hopefully. Do you know why Phil doesn't trust these independent ticket people? Two parks for 9 99 for Universal. Two parks, 95 for Scarves. One day at Disney is $50. One park for Wet and Wild, $10. That's pretty hard to get wet and wild considering that went years ago and now there's Surfside and Dockside and yeah again let's have a quick look at the IHOP International Drive near the Rosen Inn International. Definitely the better one, so as I say people. I'm just waiting for the other two to come out now and we're off to SeaWorld. Finally on the IHOP on the way down to SeaWorld. Right. Got the ID. And get it. Here's a quick look around the IHOP. Yeah. You get like seven days, 14 days passes for this. So it's a nice easy way to get up international drive and down to the premium outlets. Um, I read Google Maps and it was going to be 15 minutes, must have been about five, six minutes. So the timing still is miles off. Um, great little things to ride old school. Aircon looks even better at night time with the lights on as well. Let's see, you can see the aircon up as well. Not the most comfortable ventures, but you know, doable. And obviously, if you want to get off the bus, you see this little leather thing here. If you want your stop, you pull that, and that's where they stop. Thank you. We're off the I ride and we're literally just going to go down to SeaWorld, grab our annual passes. We'll be coming straight back here, get back to the hotel, drop the uh, annual passes off. I know what you're thinking, why is he going to pick them up? Well, we've got another week and a half here, so we're not rushing into SeaWorld, but we need to go to premium outlets today. As I said, Melvin needs to, wherever he is, he's hiding from me, unfortunately. Melvin needs to buy um, some trainers. He's like size 30 in the UK, so it's a massive fee. So we told him to go down to the outlets and get in there. So it's a bit more comfortable for him. So to say, we'll just spin this back around again for you. Little walk up. I'd say we got the uh, trolley. A lot of people get off outside the car park right down the other end. It does come inside and it shortens the route a lot. Now staying at Dockside Inn, we have two options. We can do the green or red route, what makes a massive difference for us. Um, I believe it's the green route G5 or something like that, it actually stops outside Surfside and Dockside on the more quiet side of the road, so you don't have to do as much walking to get back into your hotel. But as you can see, car park, there's people here. I don't know what that is over there. Is this where we'd pick them up? Shall I find out? Uh, we keep on walking. Well, look at the it's squirrels on a race. Go on, boy. Let's get it. Did you make it? <laughs> oh dear. Where do I pick my animal passes up? Ah, South. Maybe tickets over there. Hello. Where do we put the um, pick annual passes up for? So. Do you at least have a ticket to like get in the park? We have the barcode ones on the email, yes. Okay, perfect. So yeah, you're going to use that in order to get in. Um, if anything, let me actually see the email just in case that you have to redeem anything. Right, people, we're in SeaWorld. Just a very, very quick visit, as you know, to show you the inside. Lovely tree. Some very tall people. 
Three well signed, one of my favourite rides, Melvin doesn't know anything about it yet. You've got quiet room at the front, the guest services. We just we're quickly going to the SeaWorld store and then we're going to leave because we've got to get to the premium outlets. So just going to have a quick look in here. Especially if there's anything Christmas in there they might be interested in. <laughs> Some lovely Christmas trees. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. Let's have a quick look around. Some magnificent mugs and cups. We we'll go a bit Christmassy, shall we? Nothing says Christmas. I'll see what. Obviously, if you can get the name for somebody, that's absolutely fantastic. Most of the names of my family probably ain't there. We go, Faith is the only name apparently in F in the world. Faith is the only F name in the world. And obviously you've got your Sesame Street stuff as well. Obviously Sesame Street has its own little land in Sea World. What you will see on a future. So it is recommended to just wear a mask inside here. But I feel like everyone's wearing them in this park, so to be respectful, I've put mine on as well. Um, you will see the whole of SeaWorld and everything in a future vlog on this holiday. But as I say, we're more likely getting down to the outlets now for Melvin so he can go and get some shoes for the super size feet he's got. So it was nice to put coming. We've now picked up our annual passes in card form instead. It's a lot easier. We've got all five, even the two people ain't come on holiday. I've got theirs. I've just saw a toy pulled off the shelf, it was weird, no one was near it. So that's pretty much it. That's it there, bugs. Have a quick look around in here right now. And I think that is a good background to end SeaWorld with. And as I say, one of the future ones on this right, you're gonna see a SeaWorld. So let's get over to the premium outlets now. Finally, the sun has come out to play and we're off to the premium outlets we will find this man's trainers i'm going to the candy store do some pick and mix there and we'll just have a general look around i'll try and film as much as possible for you um we have decided to go to disney springs tonight we've noticed we wanted t-rex calf to show him what t-rex calf was like and um you can't pre-book right now it's sold out so we know when we get there we're just going to have to go into a line system unfortunately but it's fine, we're going to show him in the Christmas store at Disney as well, he's looking for stuff for his family. But I'll tell you what, the background behind me is fantastic, isn't it? Yep, so off we go to get the iRide trolley, whatever it's called. I should know, I've been here for years. Um, to um, the premium outlets. Open the door for them too. And yeah, we'll have a look around, see what it's like, pretty much. Just a lazy day, no theme parks.
か。And you can see why it's my favorite shop. Look at this. It's a dream come true for me. A shop made for me. Absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna stop recording because of the music. Um, supplies. We've done it, people. Size 14, obviously UK 13. Find him after the third shop, the night store in the outlets. He's happy man now. So people, if you've got massive feet, Nike is the Nike as we're in America is the place to go. I actually love the store. I used to shop here quite a lot myself, but I'm not actually doing clothes shopping this year. So the Nike store. There you go. Apparently, if you sign up to the app as well and they do a signing stuff, there's a QR code in it gets you 15% off your purchase what I think is a pretty good price for them yeah but he's an happy man now he's been wearing type of shoes out here you just get like camping shoes and that hasn't been easy for him so now he's got a pair of decent trainers he'll be a bit more comfortable and he probably won't be so tired with his disabilities as well so you've got to be happy for the man as I say all these deals going on here like Two for thirty dollars for t-shirts and that. Some decent lady trainers as well. I've seen men and women all in the same shop. Women that way, men this way. Some fine trainers in here. If I was out for trainers, this would be deadly. I mean, seriously, things like that would get me straight away. Hundred and fifty-five dollars. You're talking about hundred and ninety dollars after tax. Remember. Like this, get your 15% off, get that down slightly to about 180, 174. If you liked the new movie, what was terrible, you can buy the top. But yep, I think they're in queue now, pain, so it's all good. Excuse me. Oh, there they are, yep, they're pain. So I've noticed in this area, well, I'm nearly Disney outlet stores and guests and that you have a traveling 30 minute rt pcr coding testing place just over there my camera goes up and walk you over traveling 30 minutes pcr the fastest test available no appointments necessary you just go in there um prices are in there now if you can find out if you can get a certificate for the, the british if you still need to get a certificate when you're going home while this video comes out Let's have a look. Test while you shop. Um, traveling special promotion, 10% off a 30 minute PCR, 175. It's giving sales, 10 minute antigens are 75. 15 minute antibodies, 65. So yeah, you've got, you've got time for prices. You can probably get in here. I think you can get your certificate in there as well. So if you're traveling home to the UK, um, premium outlets, the one further away from Disney more. That's it's not too bad. So not bad little price in there, a bit overpriced. Me personally, um, I actually bought a test from UK over from a certified um, approved government site. Um, they will do it on as a video call with me and they will send me the certificate by email and it's it's cheaper. I think it's like 20 quid. So maybe looking at yourself but if you are stuck out and you need to do a COVID test these are the places um, to um, go to well thank you for watching part one of day four part two coming very soon could you please subscribe to epic field pests that bell notification so you know when part two comes um, like this video comment down below about the outlets and everything like that stay safe and see you on the next video